Well, the oldest uh, so-called disease-modifying medication that we have is, is Riliazol, which is also known as Riliatec. This is a pill. It's classified as a benzothiazole, and it probably has multiple mechanisms of action. It is most obviously a glutamate antagonist. It gets in the way of this excitatory amino acid called glutamate overactivating motor neurons, which we know contributes to their death. But it probably also has other mechanisms of action. For example, it may be a membrane stabilizer, meaning it may actually help motor neurons with a problem called hyperexcitability that we know they experience in this disease. Riliazole has been in many clinical trials and many real world studies. And just about every study that's ever been done has shown that people who take Riliazole live longer than people who don't. Now, a very common question that I get asked is exactly how much longer will I live if I take this? And the answer is nobody knows. Nobody can, nobody can tell you that. You know, the difference between the treatment group and the placebo or comparison group in clinical trials that have been done in real world studies ranges anywhere from two months to 19 months. So it's probably somewhere in there, the benefit that you'll get, but, but this is no different than like a blood pressure medicine. No doctor prescribes a blood pressure medicine for a patient and says, this will lower your pressure by exactly 13 millimeters mercury. We can't know that. Um, so it's a very common misconception that I see patients have when they come to my clinic. They say, well, I'm not gonna take Riliazole because I, I've been told that prolongs my life by two months. It might prolong your life a lot more than that. We, we just don't know. So I have no doubt that Riliazole has benefits. The benefits are it prolongs life. And as far as burdens go, generally these are low. It's a really easy thing for people to take. It's a pill, it's crushable. If people can't crush it or don't like to crush it, there's a liquid form of it. It only has to be taken twice a day. Side effects in my experience are pretty rare. You know, 10 to maybe 20% of people have minor side effects. These can include things like a numb sensation in the mouth, uh, a change in the way things taste, a little bit of fatigue, Somewhere along the lines of two to 5% of people have more serious side effects and wind up stopping the medication. And those can include elevations in liver enzymes called transaminases. But that side effect is really not unique to Riliazole. And it's really easy to monitor for. All it requires is for us to do a blood test monthly for the first three months and then every three months after that. And so, you know, after hearing this presentation of the benefits and burdens of Riliazole, most of my patients who come to me not on Riliazole start taking it. I would say I've got 90 to 95% of my patients in the last 21 years to take Riliazole.